Could this new AI tool help you launch your next side hustle or grow your company? Let's find out. But before we do, let me tell you a little bit about what this is. So my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we are a daily live stream podcast, free newsletter, and AI tutorial maker, I guess. Uh, this is another thing that we do. So we help everyday people not just understand AI, but how we can all actually use it. So with that, let's talk about this new tool and how we can all actually use it. This is called Story AI. So it's story with an I. And its uh, promise is to help uh, create, help people create uh, branded assets and to help build their brand using AI. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, I did already sign up for an account. Give me a second here. I'm going to pull, pull this, pull this up here and let's talk about what you are graded with when you log in. So all I did so far is I signed up for a free account, confirmed my email. So let's go over this uh, kind of from scratch. So we're going to go to the homepage and it has kind of like a chat interface here. So it says, let me know your brand name. So I'm going to say everyday AI. Please describe your company to me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste some of the uh, webs, uh, some of the information from the homepage of my website, and there we go. It says, "Do you have a logo?" I'm going to say yes. Uh, all right, I'm going to drag my logo on there. It doesn't look like I can drag it, so I have to manually add it. There we go. It says, "Do you have primary and secondary colors?" I do, but uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, uh, let's just go ahead and say it have AI generate it for me. All right, so it looks like it's gonna create us some, some brand assets just from our logo and our description. So again, if you're maybe starting a company or just have an idea and wanna see what you can make of it, uh, maybe if you wanna you know, uh, launch your, your MVP or if you have an idea for a business but you're not good at branding, you're not good at marketing, whatever it may be, uh, it looks like Story AI may at least help you get from you know, uh, point zero to point two. You know, it might not take you to a 10, but let's see how good it is. So it looks like it's uh, reading what's going on here. It's going over typography. Uh, it looks like some brand statements, uh, brand elements. So uh, yeah, I'm exciting to, uh, excited to see how this is going to work. It's creating a brand book. All right. So again, we're doing this live. I haven't been using this platform uh, for, for more than a couple of minutes here. So. One thing that would be nice is if it gave you uh, somewhat of a uh, kind of progress bar, but that's okay. So here's our brand name. Looks like it created a different version of our logo. Uh, don't think I would ever use this one, but uh, I guess cool. So it gave us some recommendations for colors, tagline, created a brand identity with a mission, vision, and value. Uh, let's see. Not not terrible. So again, it, it kind of... Uh, it took, it really based this off of the content we gave, which is good. Uh, let's see. Let's see these target audiences. Let's just see this as an example. Segment two, business leaders, individuals looking to understand the impact of AI in their industries and make informed decisions. They rely on everyday AI to provide them with insights and analysis that can help them navigate the AI landscape. So nothing uh, super specific. However, it's pretty good, right? Uh, I can't say it's wrong because that's that's right. That is you know, who we are trying to, uh, to reach with everyday AI. So here's a brand strategy it created brand voice. So it said our vo voice consists of clear and concise messaging that reflects our brand personality. We strive to provide valuable insights and information in an easily understandable format. Again, that, uh, I guess this right here, this could be used for probably just about any brand in terms of like your brand voice. So again, this isn't terribly specific, but it's a good starting point. Uh, if you don't, you know, want to hire a, a brand strategy company, or maybe if you just want something to get started, this actually isn't terrible. Uh, you know, again, not great, but not too bad. So let's go ahead and create a post. It says, let's create some amazing content. So again, I kind of like this chat interface. It's very, uh, it's going to seem familiar to people who use ChatGPT. So I'm just going to go ahead and I have copying uh, a recent post that we actually did here. So I'm 
This is the post that I'm, I'm going to copy and paste some of this information. All right, so I have that. Let me get an overview of our episode here. So this is an episode we did today. You saw me, I just copy and pasted this. It says, do you want to use the suggested images? So we're gonna use the AI images. It looks like you can upload your own instead. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these uh, layouts. So assets, it just kind of skipped to just use these. Let's see if I can shuffle through. Looks like it's just these, but I can generate new or upload my own. So uh, sure, this one looks good, I guess. it's uh, Or let's use the one with the backpack. We're talking about the you know chat GPT and the future of education. So let's use that one with the backpack. Uh, let's use kind of, uh, let's go down. Let's maybe use this layout here. So it looks kind of like a, a very simplified Canva layout. Uh, and then we have our text here. So not not bad, you know. It's a pretty simple, pretty simple uh, layout interface here. You can choose your photo, you can choose the design, and then the text. So it does all it does generate this all for you, which is kind of nice. And it looks like you can go through here and choose which one you want, and you can also regenerate others. Let's see if you can also. Uh, okay, so you can double checking this here. Preview. No, it doesn't have the uh, the text that I just entered here. It looks like you can create your own. Uh, let's see if I switch maybe. All right, so I did just type in join everyday AI. Maybe it's too long. Let's go ahead and delete this. Maybe I have to click save. That would make sense. All right, so maybe it's a little bug, but I did try to modify the text because that's a big thing. If you're gonna be using this to post content straight to social media, you wanna make sure that you have control over what it says. That could just be a bug, but I tried to modify this text a little bit and put my own text in there, and it doesn't look like it's collecting it, but again, not too terrible. This is a newer platform, it could be a bug, but it looks like you can connect your social media here directly uh, and post directly to you know Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, all these other things. So, uh, again, not bad. Uh, would, would I use this? Maybe, right? Um, it's not terrible. I do like that. It brings everything into one interface. You can go from essentially an idea to posting something on social media in a matter of minutes. Um, and again, this, it, the, the content doesn't look bad. It's, it's a pretty decent image. The, uh, the, the, the text was, I would say, it, it obviously seems very AI generated, right? But uh, I would like to see if they can fix this. Uh, looks like a little bug where you can uh, update the text a little bit. But overall, I would say I'm pretty, pretty impressed with this new story AI tool. So especially if you are, if you are new uh, to designing, to branding, to running a business, um, I actually think this is not too bad. Uh, it, it, it should, it, at least I think helps people go from an idea to something live pretty quickly. So we went a little long on this, but I hope that's okay. So as a reminder, if this was helpful, please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, uh, check out our podcast and live stream. So I hope to see you back again soon for another AI in five. Thanks.